Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Today is Vlogmas Day 14 <laughs> and I'm running late again. I ended up going to town and trying to finish up my Christmas shopping, but I still got to go back again and, you know, get like the ham and a few other things that I want to wait till a little bit closer to Christmas Eve. And so I'm anxious to get in there and try to make some of that little Debbie dip. <laughs> I, I think I forgot to mention that it was a dip that you make. I'm hoping it'll be good. So anything sweet like that, I love. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not picky. <laughs> but anyway, I want to get up here and share with you guys. Um, had to come inside because, like I said, I was running late and it was raining. And so anyway, I'll just hang out here with Santa in my tree. <laughs> now, the first thing I'm going to share with you is a finished object. And uh, it ended up coming out of this book right here. I got this earlier this year and it's by Carolina Gunsman and I got it online and there are some really cute patterns in here. They're all cute. I love this monkey. <laughs> I really, really love this one right here. I see this one going on my hook really soon. <laughs> Let's see if I can get her up here. It's called, uh, she's called Cindy the Mouse. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to make something to go along with that Christmas blanket that I'm going to be uh, making for a future uh, great-grandchild. And so whenever I got this book and I seen this one in there, I knew this would be one that I would definitely be making. And I'm going to see if I can find it. I thought I had a bookmark. There it is. And it is Clancy the Reindeer. Is he not the cutest thing? <laughs> I love both of them. He's done in like an amigurumi. You know, the whole body, and then this is a lovey. So I decided to go with the lovey. And so, anyway, here he is. Is he not the cutest? <laughs> I had so much fun making this. I do. I love this little guy. But I ended up doing him in Hobby Lobby. I love, love this yarn in taupe, I believe, because I don't have the ball band anymore, but I believe it's taupe. Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn in brown, red, and then I did... Continue down here with the same red, and this is mainstay white and mainstay green. So, I just think he's so cute, and that's going to be really sweet to put with that Christmas blanket. <laughs> and I used a 3.2 millimeter hook on the head and everything, and in the lovey itself, I ended up using a 5 millimeter hook. It is so cute. And I did the little granny square, because there's like three or four different types of blankets and I did the granny square so so cute <laughs> all right that's my finished object to share with you on that now the next one is my baby blanket then it is a Christmas blanket by Maria's blue crayon and I'm going to turn it into like a baby blanket so now yesterday I showed you this and it is the Christmas light by Jada get it up there Jada and Stitches, and she does have a video tutorial on it. And so I got got it all together last night, and this is, is this row four or five? Can't remember. This might be row five I'm starting. So the next one that's going to be going on there is a candy cane. <laughs> now I had to add me a candy cane because I usually put candy canes on my tree. But I keep forgetting to get those small ones to put in my little... Oh, this little guy here got lots of these hanging on the tree, and I keep forgetting to get the little ones and stuff in there. So I don't know if I'll get around to I probably won't, but I do have some big ones. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought it was so cute, and I wanted to make that to add to my blanket. Now, this is a pattern by Rafa Musa Designs, and I cannot remember if it's free or not on her blog, but I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out if, you know, you'd like to make one. But that's going to be so cute add it on to the blanket so that's what we have there so i'll sit down there tonight and i think yeah the next color to go on the other side it's going to be that mainstay green so that's going to be really pretty on there oh yeah so cute and i like taking candy canes and putting them in my uh, hot chocolate oh yeah that's good <laughs> letting it melt or, you know, hot in my coffee, too. I do it all in that, too. Okay. And uh, I'll put a link down below if you'd like to go check out Maria's uh, Christmas blanket. 
Okay, now the next one I want to share with you is my scrappy blanket. Oh, I'm so excited to see what colors he's picked out tonight. <laughs> I'll put my ornament over there. Now, it's really getting big. I have it in this bag here. and It's a good thing I have this big old bag. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what it looks like. Now, last night I sat there and put in the two colors that I showed you yesterday. And this is that teal in the mainstay with the glitter. And then the other is the gray. And that was Red Heart Super Saver. But look at this. Isn't that pretty? I love this so, so much. Love it. So, now let's see. And it's, you know, it's, I think, um, I think she has you, this is by Jade and Stitches. I forgot to mention that. Uh, she has a video tutorial on it, and it's called the Scrappy. Oh my goodness, I can't remember half double half double crochet uh, Scrappy blanket. It's done done in all half double crochet, and that's my favorite stitch of it. That and front post back post are my favorite stitch. But uh, anyway, it is. Uh, I'm doing a using a six point millimeter hook too with it, but I think she has you chain like. 36 to, to make it so it's you know a lap size lap blankets what it is make a baby blanket out of it too a scrappy a, a scrappy baby blanket <laughs> but I'm wanting to make it for uh to hang on my uh oh my ladder that I have over here that I decorate for every uh season and everything so I need to get around and make a video to show you guys my stuff I have over here where the invisible TV sets. <laughs> I keep forgetting about it. So, and then, I, and also, there's a few vintage things I'm wanting to share with you guys that I have picked up. So, I need to do that. And I keep forgetting. And that one thing I got from Walmart that I absolutely love. Okay, so let's see. I almost put it back in the bag. <laughs> what colors he has for us tonight. Now, it feels like two skeins. So, they feel pretty big, too. So, <laughs> All right, let's see what the first one's going to be. There we go. That is that Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Is it cranberry? I'm not sure. I can't remember. A mauve, maybe? It's like a mauve color. So that's going to be really pretty up against that right there. It's a beautiful color. So that's exciting. <laughs> so let's see what other color he's going to, or he has in this bag for us to put up a, uh, with that one there. So here we go. Oh, it's going to be that blue. So we're going to have those two together. He was on a blue kick, I noticed. <laughs> I used to think it was red, but if you'll see, and that's what it's going to look like next to that blue. But if you'll see here, there was blue here and blue there. And then now... We got more blue, so we definitely needed this to break up some of that blue. <laughs> but anyway, that is going to be really pretty up against that. And let's see if he repeated himself. Let's see. He hasn't done it so far. So that is that ombre uh, Red Heart Super Saver in that blue. And I don't know. Yeah, it's right there. And he had it with white before, so he didn't repeat himself. <laughs> So anyway, I'll sit over there tonight while I watch some YouTube and work on my three rows that I'm putting in. Now, the next one I'm going to share with you is the ornament of the day. Got my little kitty cat here. <laughs> and uh, thought she'd come up here, but she's not going to. Um, the ornament that I have for you guys today is a pattern by Sarah Zimmerman. And it's a repeat, repeat crafter me. And it is a candy cane. This was a lot of fun to make. Now, it's really easy. You think, how in the world do you get all those uh, twirls? And how do you get it to twirl like that? Well, it was real easy to do. And she shows you how to do it and everything. That You're going to make like two different strips. And then you're just going to wrap them around together. Real easy. Now, she uh, put floral wire in hers. But I went and got a pop. Uh, pop a uh, pipe cleaner 
and I put it up, I worked it up in there, but you can just sit there and just keep twisting it around. And then I went and hooked up my hot glue gun and the pipe cleaner was in between the two, the red and the white. And I just put a little bit of hot glue on both sides and just mashed it together to where it would hold its shape. So there you go. Got you a candy cane. <laughs> so these would be so cute, you know, on a garland or something like that. Or, you know, like hanging on the tree. So anyway, this is free on her blog. And I'll put a link down below if you'd like to make you a bunch of candy canes to add to your tree. Or you can put these on like uh, gift packages or gift tags and stuff like that. So super cute. And it worked up really fast. So that's going to be the ornament for today to hang up here next to my uh, hot chocolate. That the kitty cats have knocked off several times. I've, I have found, I don't know how many of those uh, hook, metal hooks that you, uh, you know, hang them with. <laughs> So, I've got a whole collection of them now where they've uh, pulled them off. And I'll just take the ornament and I'll just stick it right back up there. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, well I guess I'm going to hop off here so I can go get started on my uh, my blankets and stuff. And anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed evening. And I will see you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 15. Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? It is Vlogmas Day 15. Can you believe that? And I get to come outside to do the video. <laughs> it's warm here. It's like, I'm guessing it's like 76. I looked earlier and it was like 74 or something like that, but I'm, I'm going to guess it's a little bit warmer because it feels like it. But anyway, and then we had rain off and on this morning, but it, right now it's just cloudy. So but anyhow, I want to get up here and share with you guys what I've got for today. Now, it's uh, my baby blanket, my scrappy blanket, and then later on uh, tonight, after me and hubby settle down, I will show you the ornament of the day for the tree. So, I went ahead and brought out the baby blanket that I've uh, got done with it so far to show you what I've got done with it so far. And um, I can't believe I'm fixing to be starting row six, and it is the last row. I can't believe how fast it's going. But, of course, it is a baby blanket. I didn't do the full size. Now, this, I don't know if I already mentioned it. This is Maria's Blue Crayon, and it's a Christmas blanket that she came out with. But I did use um, other designers' appliques on it, on, on some of them, not all of them. And so this is what it's looking like so far. And I was trying to see which one I think is my favorite so far, and I think I know which one it is. And it would be... I'm thinking it's this one right here so far. <laughs> I love that gingerbread house. Now, this one is by um, Ruffa Musa Designs, and it is free on her blog. And I did. I had a lot of fun making this one. I had fun making all of them, but this one right here, I, I think it's my favorite. I wouldn't mind having a real gingerbread house, like one to live in. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm thinking it's looking really pretty. So that's what I got so far and let me get this folded up and put it back in my basket so I won't drop it on the ground here okay now yesterday I showed you the candy cane now this is by the um, Ruffa Musa designs and I still forgot to look to see if it was free on her blog but I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out but um, that's the one that we got on last and this is how it's looking so far and this is going to be the next one a Christmas wreath um, this is by Maria's blue crayon and I just thought it was the cutest thing and so I decided to add it on to the end here to go next to the candy cane now I ended up using um, well, I've been using it through the whole blanket, but it's uh, Mainstay Green. And then I went back in and I did some French knots for the berries. Now, if I remember right, hers don't have the berries, but she does have a bow at the bottom. But I wanted to leave it off and just do the berries. So, I think it turned out really cute. And that's going to look really good. I don't know if I already showed it. I probably did, but I don't remember. <laughs> Up to that. Up next to that. So... So that'll be done, or that'll be the end of that row, and then I'll start on another one. The last one, to be exact. Wow, it's just going by way too fast. 
and then I'll once I get that last row put on then I'll just take the rest of the, the remainder of the month and put the border around it and then I'll share with you guys at the end how it looks I'm excited about it because I'm still I haven't really looked on to see how she done the border on the one that she did but if I remember right she it looks like it's red and white so it'll look like a candy cane so that's I'm anxious to see because that's what I like to do around this one just you know do a candy cane look so lots of fun okay now the next one I'm going to share with you guys is my scrappy blanket and it is a pattern by Jada and Stitches and she does have a video tutorial on it and it's done in a half double crochet and if you've never you know made a blanket before and you'd like to make one she's a, a wonderful teacher that's who I learned from so but um, get it out here it's, it's getting heavier and it's growing <laughs> and I was sitting there thinking last night I'm, I'm putting three rows in each day unless I miss a day and um, but anyway three rows each time and so I was trying to figure out how big it's going to be at the end of the month but i'll just wait to see how closer i get and if it's not as big as i'd like for it to be then i'll just you know continue on a little bit into this next month which will be here before you know it <laughs> okay now i've got it resting in my big old santa bag i guess that's what that is a gift bag but i call it a santa bag <laughs> and i love that vintage truck on there okay see if I can get it out without dropping it here now yesterday we put in that mob color and then it was that what was that red heart super saver the ombre I believe and look how pretty this is looking guys oh I just love it and I sit down last night after I worked on it and I sat there and I sewed in my ends I just didn't do it on my other one over the, the baby blanket because I got tired and I was ready to go to bed <laughs> but I just love this blanket oh it's so pretty I do I love it so I'm anxious to see what colors he's got in the bag for us today oh I do I love sitting there working on this it's so relaxing and I love just working on something simple a lot of times especially when you're uh, staying super busy <laughs> and I have been I've been I just cleaned house today i'm still not really finished i want to come outside and do a little a few things in the yard and i just hadn't gotten around to it and you know and so yeah i'm getting tired <laughs> okay i'm not going to put that back now i keep wanting to put it back in that bag <laughs> okay this is what we have for today now those two balls in there so okay let's see here see blue sky all right, the first one is going to be, ooh, that red. Now that is, that is that um, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in that red I got from the antique store. That's how much I have left. <laughs> it went a long ways. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I was looking at the wrong end. I was like, no, wait a minute. He just picked red. <laughs> that was the first row. This is what we're going to have up against it. So that needed that really bad. Yeah, it needed it. Need some pop there. So, yeah, another pop in there. So that'll be pretty. Now let's see what we got in there to go with it. Let's see. Let's guess. What could it be? I really don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Can't remember what was in there. Blue. Did he put these two together before us? What I'm wondering. I don't know. Yes, he did. <laughs> he did do a repeat. That was the first repeat he did right there. But you know what? That's going to be beautiful up there because that real that will really make it pop. Let me set these down. <laughs> right there it is. So that's going to be so pretty up against that. And that will make it pop. And that is... That is that mainstay. Is it teal? I'm thinking it's teal. I don't know. I keep forgetting to look on that. But it's a beautiful blue. It might just be blue. But it's that mainstay that you can get at Walmart right now. And I do. I love that blue. It's pretty. So that's exciting. Now I'm going to go in there and put that in tonight. And I'm going to give him a hard time. 
<laughs> not really <laughs> I, I think he's doing a wonderful job he's this is the first repeat right there so i think that's pretty good i would have already repeated it probably every time <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna go in there tonight and put those rows in while i watch some youtube and i think i just felt some rain so i better hurry i don't want my blanket to get wet all right well i'm gonna hop off here because i really want to go do uh well actually what i want to do is i'm wanting to uh, clean my doors <laughs> but i guess i'm defeating the purpose if it starts raining but i always got to do my doors when i clean my house because my pets like to get up there and put their nose on it and their paws and everything else you know how it goes <laughs> but anyway i guess i'm gonna hop off here and i will see you guys later on uh tonight with the ornament of the day okay it's uh still vlogmas day 15 and it's time to share with you guys the ornament of the day and it's still pretty warm outside i've got my window open and the back door open and everything so it's nice it's real nice and i'm actually uh getting really hot with this sweatshirt on <laughs> it's kind of hard to see but i've got the grinch i guess i could set it down a little bit more but i love this shirt <laughs> But anyway, the ornament of the day is a peppermint candy. I had to make me one to go with the uh, candy cane that I made. And it's actually still in the same spot. The kitty cats didn't knock it out last night. So they've been good last night and today. So, um, yeah, so we'll see tonight. <laughs> but anyway, this is a pattern by Maria's Blue Crayon. And it is free on her blog. And I used, I believe, a 3.2 millimeter hook. And I, I used Red Heart Super Saver in the metallic red. And then the white is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And it's got the metallic in it too, which I don't know if my phone will pick it up. But anyway, I, I just thought it was so cute. And I thought it would look really cute up there with the uh, candy cane. So that's what I have to share with you today for the ornament of the tree. And ornament for the tree <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna hop off here and go sit in my recliner i haven't sat down all day except just just to eat supper and so i'm gonna go over here i'm first i'm gonna go pop me a bag of popcorn i've been on a big time popcorn kick <laughs> and i'm going to throw some m ms in there and i'm gonna sit down and watch some youtube and work on my blankets so anyway i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed night and i will see you tomorrow on vlogmas day 16.